Hello everyone! Today we will continue to test what a defibrillator is capable of. Of course, it is difficult to call it a toy, but up to the age of 40, boys can do everything. We'll start with what you've seen in the preview. Let's check what happens if to defibrillate the heart. That's right, it is a real heart. It's not human but beef, but the principle will be the same. Judging by its anatomy, it is in many ways similar to a human, unless there is a serious difference in size and weight. A beef heart weighs about 2 kilograms, while the weight of a human heart is almost 10 times less. We set the defibrillator to the pre-maximum energy of 300 joules, and we are waiting for the power to set. The device signals that it is charged, so we give a discharge to the heart. The organ hasn't even moved, unless you can see on the slow-mo that there is a spark near the right electrode. The examination shows that this lightning has formed a scar on the heart, although no visual reduction of the heart muscles is observed. So let's try to repeat, but changing some conditions. This time we additionally use copper tape. The discharge is accompanied by a flash, but again, no muscle contraction can be seen. But on the other hand, the examination shows that this time two giant scars have formed. Now let's take a giant crystal of salt. The trick is that the salt is transparent. There is every chance to see firsthand the lightning from the defibrillator inside the crystal. charge the device and let's go to check if this is so. And here it is! In fact, the crystal lights up from the inside, like a large salt lamp at the moment of discharge. And what will happen if we plug the battery into the electrodes of this device? We stick the copper tape strips on the board and connect their edges so that they touch only the poles of the battery, but not the metal case. Hey, nothing happens! We have repeated the experiment several times, but it's to no avail. We've had such expectations from this battery that even used a protective mask. Anyway, we won't despair. We replace the battery with a petri dish and bring copper strips to it. Then we fill the container with water. As you know, water is an excellent conductor of electricity. We set the defibrillator for 300 joules and put the electrodes on the tape. This time everything goes as it should, and a visible bright discharge appears in the container for a second. Well, at the same time, water jumps out of the petri dish. For our next experiment, we will need a petri dish again, but this time without water. We open the canned food and carefully place the contents into the container with a fork. A 
and then we pour plenty of oil from the jar. It's time to test the defibrillator on this product. I must say it works out pretty well. The oil ignites from the discharge, while splashing around and making a rather cool effect that is accompanied by a bright flash. It is cool! The next is a Kinder surprise. Connect the tape strips on the sides of the Kinder and it's time to start a discharge. What a powerful thing it is! The sparks fly in all directions, and the foil in which the chocolate eggs is sealed melts and burns out in places where it is joined with the tape. It even has holes in it! We set the maximum value to 360 joules and again pass the discharge through the chocolate egg. It turns out even cooler, there are more sparks! Let's move on to real eggs. We have two eggs and put them one by one. We set the defibrillator to the maximum 360 joules and it's time to start a discharge. Both eggs explode at once. As soon as our doggy cleans up the table, we will continue. I wonder if it is possible to break a coconut with the electric discharge. We put it on a plastic cap and bring the tape on both sides. Discharge! Not even the hairs catch fire, it's a toughie! That is all for now, bye-bye!